I'm ready to go. Ready to go? Yeah. Count to ten and duck. Oh, I see it. Oh, this is good and tight. By landmass, Canada is the world's second largest country. Yet by population, we are smaller than the state of California. And we are through. We're through. Wow, there's the clock. And yet, we stand proudly united under one flag, the maple leaf. And while we can't say that one flag is more important than any other, we can say that there's one that's more iconically Canadian than any other. That one that sits atop the Peace Tower on Parliament Hill here in Ottawa, Ontario. And the man in charge of that flag is Robert, Supervisor of Building and Operation Maintenance, yep. also known as the Flagmaster. So originally this plywood wouldn't be here. Yep. We put it up to protect it. There is a shaft along here. The gears are back here. To turn the clock. The clock is... What are we what are we doing today? Today, well, we're gonna go. High up and change that flag. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Here we go. For those of you that don't know, our parliament is under renovations for the next 10 years. It normally looks much nicer. Yeah. Is this the office? So this is where we keep all the flags. I got uh, 24, between 24 and 30 weeks worth. Weeks worth, of wow. Flags. Like you watch the movie Moulin Rouge and stuff yeah. like that, they're behind the clock and I've always wanted to be able to be behind the clock. This is yeah. it. Here. We're made in Quebec City, so I've got wow all these flags. So the two cabinets are full, and I've got a few boxes uh, that uh, I need a third cabinet <laughs> to actually fill. What you do is we open them up, and we'll inspect the condition of the rope, make okay. sure that everything is legit, that when we do hang them up, um, that they won't have a problem. Now back down here is the standard that they use. Uh, in the manufacturing of the flag. Okay, wow. So it's a perfect two for one ratio. So it'll be seven and a half feet by 15 feet long. Wow, that's a big flag. It's, it's, it's big. It doesn't look that big from the ground. No. But it, it, it can be challenging when you're trying to put it up. No kidding. Uh, so we sample them every so often. We'll take one out, measure, make sure that they're still adhering to the um, right. standard. And the tricky part is the, the stitching. As you sew the flag, the material shrinks. So you have to compensate when you're putting them together to get that perfect rectangle. Right. So the flag actually isn't a perfect rectangle until it's sewed together. So it's all done by hand in Quebec City. No way. Um, I visited the, the manufacturing. It's, it's, it's very tedious, uh, but it you know, produces a perfect flag every time. When you got this job, you knew the flag changing was part of it? No. You didn't? So no. what did you think when they told you? Um, Were you afraid of heights? Are you? I don't like heights. Okay. Uh, the first time was scary, but also like you just have this immense feeling of pride. Yeah. And I just, from day one, I just took it over and ran with it. Amazing. Are there any instances when you can't change the flag, like lightning, for example? It's happened only once since I, in my nine years here, that we haven't changed the flag. It was April sixteenth. Uh, 2017, and it was due uh, to ice. So there was actually freezing rain yeah. the night before, okay. and it accumulated uh, approximately two inches of ice on, on the flagpole. Oh, and so the cable was embedded in the ice. Ah, so you uh, and it was too cold that morning. Yeah, the ice hadn't melted, and because of everybody on the ground decided to leave it. The next morning, early in the morning, we blocked off. The, the base of the tower. So you can, we went up so I can break the ice, fall on the ground. Safely. We can change it. Yeah. Interesting. From here, there's only one way. Uh, once we get above this, uh, you're going to see the walls are actually slanted. We'll be actually behind the proper roof. Okay. So as we go up, everything's going to get smaller and tighter. I see. My record <laughs> for changing the flag. Love it. Um, if I don't use the elevator in the Peace Tower, so just from the base of the tower, yeah. all the way up, change the flag and come all the way back down, right. is 8 minutes and 12 seconds. Just love that. That's 392 steps one way. One way. Wow. One way. I'm not heavy breathing. So I'm not worried about it at all. This is a steep one.
important not to pull on the flag, so I'm actually pulling on the cable. Okay. Making sure it doesn't touch the ground. Now it is quite big, too big to really do anything up here. I can't fold it right away, uh, so I just grab it, take the new one out, just kind of stuff it in here. Making sure it doesn't touch the ground. So I, we do it once when we open the flags to serial uh, number them. Yeah. What I always do is a second check, make sure that it's okay. Snap it in, make sure that we're good. The top always goes up first. Make sure the cables aren't twisted. Now it looks easy. Today is easy. There's a slight breeze. But when you've got gushing winds, rain, snow and ice, uh, it's not always this easy. So you picked a good day. Good. Get the bottom up, make sure it's good, and bring it up. Room is autographed everywhere by everyone who's been in here. Do you know of any? Are there any famous autographs in here? Justin Trudeau, Justin our Trudeau prime minister, he was up here. Uh, Rick Mercer, famous Canadian comedian, right there. All right, back down the tight stairwell. Well, if you're new to this channel, this is the perfect time for me to tell you who I am. The channel is Downy Live. I'm Michael, and I love to showcase the incredible people that make our world amazing, Robert included. So, if you're new, subscribe, and uh, we're not done yet. I think he's got something else we're gonna get to see here. They're loud. Holy cow, look how big they are. And what is this? So this, this is actually the Carillon. The, what? The Carillon. <laughs> Wait, what do you do with that flag now? So uh, downstairs in the office, we have a clothesline. So I'll hang it up for two reasons. One, either to let it dry if it rained or got snowed on, or two, just to get the wrinkles out. Uh, just transporting it in the bag from top to bottom, uh, it just gets wrinkled. Yeah. Let it uh, hang for a week, and every uh, week the minister's office comes and collects them from me. Okay. And what do they do with them? They are going to mail them out to Canadians who put their name down on a list. Yeah. There's a waiting list online that you can sign up for if you want this flag, but I think it's over 100 years long at this point. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, I'll leave that link down below if you're interested in looking at it. Cool. All right. It was just covered in ice. The whole cable was ice. Um, I was able, like it took me a good five minutes to move it, like maybe an inch or two. Wow. And after that, every time you move it, the ice would break off the cable. It would just come down crashing on you and yeah it took like half an hour to do the whole change gosh i can't imagine how cold your hands would have been i've actually gotten frostbite on the tips of my fingers before yeah um i've got cuts uh there's some days where i'm holding on to dear life and the flag just how i like have to stop because the wind is so strong uh and i'm kind of thinking like why am i doing this right now um but it's got to be done 